Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Just notice how weird this castle looks. It's a weird setup. There's a big old door right here. And, okay, you walk over this way, but it doesn't take you all the way to the outer wall, because that, apparently, would be silly. No, you go down into the garden, which we've never seen, by the way. And then what? I guess it takes you to this big door here? A very tiny living area. I mean, there's a bunch of towers, which is good, I guess. I guess this, those could be the individual rooms. This could be the big area we've seen, right? So the towers would be, like, the living spots? I guess this could be individual rooms. Typically, so, I mean, I've only seen a couple of castles in real life. But the rooms are really small. I mean, they're basically... Take your average studio apartment, and that's basically what you've got. So, yeah, okay, no, I could see it, I could see it. All right, it's just weird. It's like this doesn't go all the way over for some reason. It's like, I don't know, they didn't want this door to be as big as this door. I'm, I'm a little confused about the art now that I've really stared at it for a while. But anyway, we're gonna ignore that for a minute. Guys, we've got 16 days left on the clock. Our kingdom quests have updated, which means we have 13 done, right? We want at least one more done. I think we can do it if we can get Miri here in the Pathfinder to like us more. So let's see if we can make that happen. Hey, Miri. What's up? Here's the bounty for the familiars. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, these little writings wriggle and glitter with strange inks. They're similar no matter what the original contents of the book were. Why is this? Can't say for sure. I have a couple theories, but require exchange favors with my friends back home. Didn't we already do this? Oh, nice. Oh, you know what? It probably didn't save properly. That's okay. That was a tiny little thing. That yeah, personal bronco is stronger. It's blocked as a core stuff. Team request. I have to do 14 now. Still only 13, huh? She needs to be confidant status. Level four, I think. Maybe that's my my personal misunderstanding of how that goes. Amir's only level three right now. We can possibly get her to four. We need other people at four though. So Alice is the first at four. Might be able to get Griff there. Yeah, if we babble to Griff for a while. Same with Gunther. Same with Levant. Same with Boz. Or she's blocked. And Signy's going to be tougher. Kind of interested to see where Theo goes. And then Winter we emote up for a while. So let's, let's, if I'm curious about Theo, let's see if we can get to Theo here. Yeah, here he is in Town Square. We have so much time. I just want to get some of these quests done. And then we're down to the final chapter. And then who knows, right? Hey, dude. Mm -hmm. Of course I'll be your friend, my man. Let's spend some time. Okay. Moto moto moat, moto moto moat, moto moto moat, moto moat, moto 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 moat, moat, moto moto moat, moat, moat. Okay. Done moating. The funny thing is, I remember doing exactly this in MMOs. The tricky part there was, of course, you had to also type in text to um emote with. So Theo's also here. We're gonna we're just hardline Theo right now. Hardline, yeah. Do it twice, basically. Um, depending on whether or not you were putting on a show or not. Right, if you were just doing it to emote in front of other people, mm -hmm. it didn't matter so much. But um, if you were you were actually trying to emote and roleplay conversation at the same time, that made it a little difficult. That was a lot of typing. Figure it out. I know how to work as a hairdresser without incidents. Oh, shit. That's huge. Great! So you're going to painfully struggle every day and night to practice willpower and temperance while also slowly building up the trust of people you're going to serve, knowing they'll be afraid of you anyway? Well. Well, no. Huh? What do you have in mind, then? You'll see, but I need help launching the hairdressing angle of the Endeavor. Even though that was a literal lifetime ago, I still have some of the basic tools with me. Scissors, razors, combs, you know, the essentials. This idea is to work out essentials won't suffice. I need the big guns. I'm going to need the strongest hair gel ever known to man. Are you serious? Ha ha ha! Dead serious. I should know. I'm already dead. And there's only one place you can get it at. Dun, dun, dun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Quests have been updated. All right. All right. Style for substance. Go to the Yuja Tar Pits. Okay, then we get a rep with Theo. Um, so I take it the personal bond is locked until we do that? Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, well, we have a quest. Let's go for it. Use your tar pits. Let's go. We could do the other stuff, but I'm guessing anytime we get anyone at confidant level, we're going to need to do a quest. So let's just nip that in the bud right now. For great! We move yes. now, baby! Yes. Light my fire! So in this case, Levant's not really working out for us. Let's drag Theo yeah. with us. Do I Levant. have to? I mean, Levant kind of works out. He just doesn't have very much in the way to offer right now, I don't think. The pure damage builds, I think, are working out better. So here we go. Our pits go directly there. Do not pass go. Do not collect $4 million. I play a completely different name game Monopoly than you guys do. And go. Venture forth. Pungent pools of dark, bubbling muck seep through the pores of the earth, creeping around the dark land like festering clots of glue. Without a doubt, this must be the place Theo told you about. The Yuja Tar Pits. That's the kind of stuff you want to put in somebody's hair? Seems questionable, doesn't it? Yuck indeed, although to be fair, not everyone seems to mind this microcosm of stench news. Beneath a dead willow tree, partially submerged in a large pool of tar, you see a troll. Pretty relaxed one at that. That insult to injury appears to be wearing a small shower cap. Why would that be insult to injury? Okay, you know what? Let's 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 be friendly. Let's say hello. Your slow approach, largely marred by constant attempts to not drown in a lethally sticky goo, does not go unnoticed by the troll. He offered you a friendly, somewhat mellow wave. Hey, you here for a bath too? How about this? My friend had me some hair gel. Do you know where I can find some? Scratches his arm clumsily. Hair gel? Seeing gooey stuff to put on your head? Well, makes a pregnant pause and gestures silently at the nearby tar pools. He can't be serious, but we know he is. Seems slightly offended by your comment. Why not? It's adhesive, right? But wait, if you're afraid you'll burn your scalp out or something. Yes? Well, see, our skin isn't exactly like yours. When us trolls bathe, we tend to shed, shed plenty of grime and fat and sweat and other oily stuff. Catches your disgusted expression and misconstrues it as curiosity. Don't know the fancy name, sorry. Anyhow, my point is, it tends to mix with that tar like something fierce. Look for tan clumps around the pools. That's that stuff. That's exactly what you need. More kick, less ick, you know? Safer, too. Completely organic at that. So, not only is it tar, but it's tar mixed with troll? Because it doesn't just shed grime. Grime's another word for, like... All the dead skin cells your body's done with, or the partially dead skin cells your body's more or less done with, and it wasn't really attaching that much anyway. Not to mention the sweat and fat. When humans bathe, we don't shed fat. So somehow it extrudes out of a troll's pores. That's starving on several levels. Okay, well, now at least we know the thing that he wanted. I know, right? He smiles earnestly. Mother Nature is amazing. In any case, I hope you find what you need. Um, does it matter where? I guess we'll just start southwest, because that's the top one here. Covering a thick layer of dust and leaves, these pools probably haven't been used in some time. No traces of activity here, except for a single skeletal hand speaking out of the mire. A golden ring. There's something infection here. Oh, well, of course we're going to take the ring. Of course we are. The aid of a stick and a pinch of dumb luck, you successfully managed to snatch the ring for yourself. Ta-da! There you go. Okay, look around the northern pools. Got the air around the northern pools, carefully tiptoeing on the brink of sticky smelly oblivion. However, there doesn't seem to be anything of interest here. Well, damn. Let's go east. What a surprise, the stench here is even more unbearable. The area is filled to the brim with rich troll material, shall we say. Line along the pools in wax-like clusters. Soaked in tar for extra repulsiveness, you seriously doubt whether you can find a better candidate for extra strong hair gel around these parts. Hey, grab a big lump. The collective embarrassment of your entire party, it takes some prolonged inventory acrobatics to successfully harvest, contain, and pack the sample. As you begin to leave, you can hear the sudden hiss of your big pack, backpack dissolving beneath the cosmic wrongness of your prize. Regardless, you sure, you, you sure hope Theo knows what he's doing. We've got the pile of formless muck, which he really wants, and the ring of swamp lightning. 
which is really junk. That is total junk. All right, well, in the adventure. So now we'll go back here. It'll probably take us two days, right? Go one, two, three. No, three days to get back. 12 days left, 11, 10, 9. Yep, there we go. No big. But now we go to Theo. Turn in the quest. We get confidant level with him. Maybe. If he's around. We can't do it. We can't do it because he's not available for it. Let's see when he's next available. Theo, my man. This personal bond town square, is it just not showing it properly? Hate that. It must be a bug. We've had that happen a couple of times. Yeah, we can definitely go talk to him. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything with him, but... Oh, maybe not a personal bond day because we're turning in a quest. That's got to be it. Hello, I brought you the uh, hair gel. Well, I mean, it's nicely contained in box and everything. Hopefully that wasn't a former troll piece it's boxed into. Disgusting, by the way. Ugh. Wonderful! No matter, my new clients will care anyway. Huh? Your new clients? Not a word, you'll see in time. Thank you for tremendous help, Kay. The only thing left is to keep our fingers crossed. What do we got? What do we got? What horrible thing do they have in store for us? Or they're not going to tell us. They are actually not going to tell us. We have to do the personal bond to find out. I'm almost tempted. Almost. Okay, so we got a morph. Occult and overpowered. Increased dark harvest bone damage bonus from 40% to 60% per negative ongoing effect. That's okay, I guess. What else do we got? Oh, maybe we can find out who Signy's totem animal is going to be. That's going to take two days, plus the quest time, which actually might be you're finding her totem animal. So actually, I'm okay with that. Where is she? Oh, placeholder rent. She's not actually ready to go. Um, sorry, Signy. Yeah, your day off, huh? We need to spend another day. Well, we can always have somebody else. We have Gunther. We have Griffith, rather. Gunther. Gunther is not available, right? He's... No, he's not there. Well, it's Gunther. The hell did... Oh, he's in the placeholder inn. The inn is very popular. I hope they realize how much money we've sunk into that. Um, we should also... Could also be Sichi. Can't do Miri. Let's just... Um, Go for a grip. I think he was going to be on our list anyway. Right? Probably. Yeah, two days for Griff will be good. I'm kind of curious what... He was uh, kind of stonewalling us on whether or not it was a good time to uh, to do stuff with us. So this is probably going to be a continuation of that somehow. Griff, my man. All right, spend the day. Ah, excellent. We will emote at each other for a bit. Or actually, no, that's right. It does the sparring. Yeah, it's kind of like emoting. Okay, spend the day with Griff. Thank you very much. I'm gonna shoot him. What he typically does after these. Yep, there we go. Okay. Alright, let's talk to... Not Theo. I don't want to talk to Signy. Where is she? Down here at the pier. Let's do it. It's gonna be a moto 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 to her again. And we need to talk to Griff. Okay, we'll figure stuff out. Such pain upon the soul. Okay, talk to you with joy. It's gonna be a moto moto moat. Or not. Or no, maybe this is just a different kind of emote that I just haven't seen before. I guess we're we're following her around to try to find out where her spirit animal is. Kay apparently doesn't run very much, it's fair. Typically you don't want to run until you pass out. Or throw up either, that's also bad. Okay, so Griff is ready to go. Signy is somewhere in the world. Nobody knows where. Where the hell did she go? She must just be away. Yep, day off away. Okay, well, that's fine. Glad I did it then, though. So let's go to Griff and see what his final thing is. He might even have a story thing for us. Get down to the smithy here. Okay, Griff, what do we got? 
And let's spend time. Ah, excellent. Splendid. Most impressive. You are a fast learner, young master. I've always looked upon your father as an exemplar of your martial skill. You, however, are well on the way to inheriting that title. Good job. You used to hold my father in high regard, didn't you? Yes, of indeed. Of course. Though I'm but a simple warrior, I would not be the man I am today without his guidance. You were, are, a lucky man to be able to call him family, sire. Big shoes to fill, I think, would be the appropriate response here. Clear holds him in high regard. Let's go ahead and keep it that way. Indeed. Indeed. Still, I would not grow discouraged. You were already proven to be very much like human spirit. Now, where were we? Use another go, to be honest. So could I. Let us fight. Oh, no, no, no. Young Master, I'm sorry. Just remember, I cannot. I need to be elsewhere. Huh? We shall continue on a different occasion. This I promise. But now I really need to go. What? Just like that? Just like before? Once again, I am sorry. You're absolutely sure there's nothing I should know about? Right. Yes. Well, what can I say? Go if you have to. It kind of... Kind of seemed almost like, oh shit, I have to go to the restroom. But also, since this is a fantasy world, I'm wondering if he's a werewolf. Huh. I don't know. Should I be worried? Yeah, I think so. I'm starting to talk to myself. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know. Suddenly he's getting incontinent? No, that doesn't make any damn sense, right? It's got to be something else. I just don't know what it is. Bond did grow stronger. We didn't have to do a quest for it, though. That's kind of surprising. I was really expecting a quest thing to happen. That might not happen until we get to the final level, though. Okay, well, that's... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to look at my personal bonds here. He is level 4? He is. Okay. We can go to Gunther. We can go to Signy. So... We get, need two of these guys, right? Hold on, let me look at my personal bonds. We get Gunther up. We're not going to be able to get Miri up. We might be able to get Signy up or Lilka. Maybe even Winter, depending on how things work out. You know, Winter's so rarely in the Prospector safe house. Let's go do that now. Deadline's approaching. I know, I know. But we're set. We're totally set. Let's only have two Hi days there. to do the next one. Which seems unlikely. So let's spend time with you. I think we're just going to emote at each other. I don't think there's anything to here, right? Just emote, emote, emote. Emote, emote, emote. Okay. The opportunity to drink for my tea. Hmm. Room temperature tea now. Still counts as tea, but not as pleasant. Do, 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 do. Okay, so she's gone. I'm glad I took the time. Signy is nowhere to be found. She might be out in the wilds. Um, let's just make sure. Not game request, personal bonds. Oh, no, that's sorry, that's not what I did. They, the calendar, dummy. Yeah, our day off. Okay. So we spend it with, like, Gunther or somebody, like, here. We will emote at him for a bit. And then we'll be able to work with Signy for tomorrow. Uh, spend time. There you go. Emote, 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 emote. There you go. All emoted out. And then finally, Signy should be back, and there she is. So let's see if we can find her totem animal. Maybe that's her spirit animal, whatever. Maybe that's the quest for her. Might not happen until next time. Such pain upon the soul. Okay, spend some time. Who knows? Maybe she comes awesomely powerful. I don't know. Making stuff up. Um, what? Were we actually that far away? I wasn't actually paying attention. Damn, 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 and double damn. We're to spend another day with her, I think. Which we can do. I just, I totally miscalculated how long it was going to take. Damn, damn, and double damn. Triple damn, even. Quadruple dams. Look at our personal bond thing that I thought we had where we wanted to be. 
Now it's ready. So I think it must have been like 99% or something. That's always silly. Okay, well, so it goes. Um, but she's not here right now. She is away. Two days left. Um, whoops, calendar. Yep, she's away every other day. And actually tomorrow as well, so I'm not going to be able to level her up. That's too bad. Um, could do Diego, but I really don't want to. Because Diego would have to start from scratch, right? Yeah, he's level 1. And he has nothing good. I mean, we could spend some time with him and level him up, but big deal. Gunther is so... Oh, we need a quest for him. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, no, let's, let's find out what the quest is. We don't know what it is. Let's find out what it is. I don't even know if that's going to take a full day or not, but we'll see. Okay, spend time. It's going to be blocked off until, of course, he tells us the quest, which is going to happen right here. Okay. <laughs> the hell of a laugh. So like I was saying, wrestling arena is still an option? Uh, don't think so, Gunther. But how else are people going to bond together? What better way than that? Sorry. Oh, uh, well. Oh. Worth the shot, anyhow. And that was it? No, okay. Here we go. I'm grateful. Thanks for the walk. I really need some fresh air. It's run by heat and fumes. Sometimes a man's creative juices get stale and nothing pops. The heart deafens and the hands become unable to work. You know what I mean? Yes? I guess. Say hello, Heinrich. Oh, no. Is the dog going to be missing? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I mean, he's technically carrying him inside the avatar right there. They should have blacked that out, but whatever. He's asleep. I'll go and look. What could preoccupy him so? Holding him in your right hand, dude. Heinrich, come here, boy. Heinrich, Heinrich. He's missing. Can't find him anywhere. Okay, well, but how? There we go. What? I have no idea. It's insane. <laughs> Sweet merciful gods, how is that impossible? How could I let this happen? Not your fault, Gunther. Of course it is. I... I... Wait, is it because... Was I overbearing all the affection, all the zips, all the gifts and clothes? My Heinrich. We'll find him. Thank you. <laughs> I know we will find you, I swear. How is he going to come with this? He doesn't, he's not at one of the options. Okay, so we're still at two days. Interesting. Probably shouldn't go away when we're right at the limit here, so... We will do it, Gunther, I promise you that, but it's not going to be right now. Winter is there, but for some reason we can't bond with her? There's no bond prospector, yep. Yeah. It's not showing up for some reason. The hell's going on? Winter is ready. We need to do the quest for her. You know, that's if that's what turns out to be, that's totally okay by me. We can just go around doing quests for a while. I'm okay with that. So let's get her quest. What's up? How's the family? How's the little guy I gave you? Okay, it's been time. Wait, what? Upgrade the character's building to advanced personal bond. I didn't even realize that was necessary. Hold up. I thought for some reason we'd upgrade everyone's building. Probably have enough gems, though. This shouldn't be too bad. And if I need to, I'll spend the last day, like, fishing or something. Hey, right, there we go. All right, construct. Done and done. Another day gone. This should be the last day. Back to castle. Unless they decide to show up early, which they have not. We have none here. Oh wait, Noble's Privilege is still here. And I thought I did this. And the backbreaker of a missive has been delivered to your office, once again bearing the courteous embellishment of the Imperial office. At the very least you know which parts to skip this time. Praise the Emperor, praises us to your countenance, praise his boundless generosity. The Emperor, Emperor dictates thus. Why is the noble leader? You are cordially invited to attend the first leaf ceremony, whereupon our joint delegation will partake in the brewing and sampling of the finest tea crop. 
Through discipline, we shall attain perfection by the grace of heavens. Let this honorable ritual strengthen our bonds for years to come. Please send your best. I thought we wanted to improve our bond with Alphamir. Sending Sitchi is actually kind of funny. I'm totally going to do it. Gwyn would probably find it stuffy anyway. So, yeah, definitely send Sitchi. It's a bunch of tea. How could he not enjoy that? Of course, it's less about what he enjoys and more what happens there, but he's probably not the best ambassador to the Empire, but you know what? We don't have good relations with the Empire anyway. There you go. The Alphamir found it funny. That's what's important. Okay. And go back outside to the town. Now, I don't think Winter is there anymore. Oh, no, she is. She totally is. Hey, Winter. What do you got for Hi me on this there. last day? See what her quest is. So. Huh? So. Perhaps you'd like to do me a teeny weeny favor? Can I take a guess? Will it involve hauling rocks? Yes, Andy. Yes. What? Uh. Hoping for something less strenuous. Though, to be fair, Griff's probably going to be the one carrying the rocks around. I'm just saying. Strenuous, just one small rock is all. Yeah, your definition is small, not usually fit others there, Winter. How small? Well, a bit like this. Oh, God, it's a relief. Uh, I mean, go on. Up north, warm cousins like to keep play keep away. I hear that there's a thing called, known as the Gallimalfrey. The frozen mess of bedrock, trees and ice that extends into the mountain range, one leading deep into the dead west. Every once in a while, like, say, last week... The earth shakes, the ice cracks, and goodies fall out like sweet earthly piñatas. Rocks? Rare rocks. Beautiful, shiny, majestic rocks. Just imagine their noble luster, their stupendous porosity. Ooh, ah, isn't it that thought electrifying? I can't wait to name them and dress them. Let me get this straight. You want me to bring you one of these rocks, correct? Yep, 100% correct. Lisa, please, can you, will you? Okay. No promises, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, nice! Right? Hey, that guy's make room. You'll soon be getting a new friend. Or you'll be getting a new friend very soon. Well, how did I do that? Because I would say you'd soon be getting a new friend. That's apparently not the way they wrote it. I think that's the way that works. Just like no promises, right? Yeah, that's not going to work out with her. But okay. All right. Last day. Anything bothering you, Kay? Hi. <sighs> I wouldn't say bothering, no, but the more we worked, the more it seems like our ancestors either made, only made a mess or plainly didn't care. I mean, uh, aside from you, Grandpa, of course. <laughs> Be thankful I never opted for a gavel kind. Let's see. Anyway, here's your fare to the last two months, which is fine, totally fine, right? Way to go. Yep. Da -da 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 yeah, went rather well, even with all those elfish shenanigans. Consider yourself praised, fellas. <laughs> Okay, let's see how long they give us for the next batch. My guess would be the same amount of time. I don't know. News has come in. Apparently, Miss Addie's little committee didn't expect that sudden show of backbone. Good. It doesn't seem like the unity is going to bother us anytime soon. We will finally be able to move on to some more productive activities. Fewer circuses, more bread, that kind of thing. Um... Okay, Gwen apparently doesn't know when the Romans talked about bread and circuses. They talked about bread being the minimum you could actually do to make to satisfy the people's needs, and circuses would distract them from the fact that there's very very minimal to do. So, your circuses is actually if you don't match both needs in equal order, you're in a really bad spot. Okay, so bread is still bad. But sure. Okay. There's no telling if Crucy won't crank up the pace again. Yeah, no kidding. I'm expecting nine this time, but what do I know? What's the word on the ancestral treasure thing? Because that could really help us out. Sadly, nothing new. The trail's gone completely cold. Well, damn. And the summer estate? Ellie sent another batch of inquiries. The dragon had mentioned Aralan. So that's where we pulled first. Just so you know, that's a whole other web of extravagant connections. 
Tracing one dependency after another, we've managed to dig up an interesting lead. A lead? We received word of a certain interesting painting being exhibited in Armalisse at Pinacoteca da Candelaria, and the curator was kind enough to part with it. This... this sounds like a pricey agreement. <sighs> but what is one more bill in the shambling pile of terribleness? No. She's not wrong. And if the bill will help you get out of further bills, it's, you know, gotta spend money to make money. Totally okay with that, Gwen. You think you did the right thing. Hmm. Well, I think it would be prudent just to show it to you. Come. Yeah, why were you meeting out on the pier anyway? Weren't we in the building not too long ago? What happened there? That's it? That's the painting? It's definitely not... Well, I mean, it's hard to tell from this level of detail from all the way back here, but it doesn't look very good. Yep. And it tells us what, exactly? <sighs> if you just stay quiet for a fraction of a second. Now, the painting shows a sea landscape as seen from some unspecified island vantage. It's not an imaginary piece of terrain, either. See this? The shoreline matches with the Argent Coast, a region on the border of Rashtil and Armalisse. So what, you may ask? Well, I'd like to draw your attention to this little stamp here. She does just like talking to herself, doesn't she? Doesn't let us enter the question, she just presents the question and answers herself. Okay. So do I really need to be here for this part of the conversation here, Gwen, or can you eventually get to some sort of point? That's the symbol of House Lauren! Indeed it is. The painter's signature, or so I was told. But that means... That the painter was Lauren, in all likelihood. And we have a name, Fallon Galar Lauren. The Prince in Chambers, an unfulfilled artist and an infamous recluse, brother to the king, a man who never took permanent residence in Ascalia. I see. You're saying that he painted this from the Lauren Summer Estate. Naturally, it's a stretch, a cute piece of conjecture even, but the elements fit. With Crucy going into overload, we don't really have the luxury to ignore this. But we also have no guarantee that the treasure is there. Nope. Regardless, Argent Coast it is. Griffith? Sire. Let's move. Now, aren't you forgetting about something, kiddos? Um. Your objectives! Ah! Before you rush out seeking white rabbits, hear me out! Okay. Nope, we're totally fine then, because we've done six quests. We're about to complete seven. And then we do that. That's totally. We can totally do that in 55 days. We got this. We totally got this. Okay, that's all. Shoo! We totally got it. We're good. So, yeah, so those go away. Thank you very much. Oh, even, no, it says we're just done. The seven plus quest thing is just done. Did I do that somehow? How did I do that? How did I do that? Go to quests. I guess if we do these, that'll make it so that... Well, these two will be confidant levels. But what... Yeah, we have seven done. I'm a little puzzled how that happened, but sure. Oh, because we got the reputation level with Alfmir. That's what it was. Oh, okay. No, that's good. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and do the side quest anyway. I want to get the confidant levels up. Plus, I want to get Signe to actually, you know, have her totem animal. That would be nice. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's see if Signe is here. I should just look at the calendar, shouldn't I? And Signe, where are you? Where are you, Signe? Signe is here. Yes, she's at the Pure, the Alchemist, or the Prospector. Okay. Not the pier, not the alchemist. There she is, prospector. Signy. Such okay. pain upon the soul. Let's see if we have a confidant quest for you. No? Oh no, there we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Maybe? Uh, maybe not. The hell? Oh, good, right. She likes beating, going around and beating things up. I forgot about that. Is that actually it? 
Another unsuccessful hunt. For all these days and nights, all these moons, still nothing. The spirits are silent. No voices, no bond. At this rate. I apologize. Does the duckling need a moment? Okay. Try to be strong. Try to be strong, Kay. <sighs> oh, she's definitely like that. I'm fine. Just so. Duckling does not let up strength through adversity. I'm going to go chase after her, Kay. All right, I give up. Oh, come on, Kay. You were so close. So, that was that. All right. So, we have to probably get her to max level. Get the bond up. We can emote with her again. Let's do it. Let's... Oh, no. Except she's going to be away, isn't she? I keep saying let's go for it, and then I keep forgetting she's away. Would we time it so it's just a day? We should be all right. Let's talk to Griff. Chances are... He's not going to give us anything this time, but... Moving that quest along might not be bad. And then we get him level 5. Which we don't really need, but I'm kind of curious. Okay, so this is just a mode, a mode, a mode as we battle each other. Which is fine. Da 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 da. And we get. Okay, so he's level. He's ready to level up. It's great. Probably going to give us a quest to, I don't know, cure his werewolf that that that's actually what it is. And Signy. Let's see if we can get you your spirit animal, please. Your words? Spend some time. Okay, this looks so much the same. All right, that's just gonna be a mode, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Totally forgot. He's looking around, or her spirit animal apparently just wandering around. It's like running through the forest is not a good way to do that. But what do I know? So speaking of bonds, how close are we? Alice is actually really close to leveling up. Gonna probably have a quest for her too. Sydney is there. So yeah, we talked to her one more time. We should be able to get it there. But unfortunately, she's away today. We'll wait for the next two days, right? If we have that works. Yeah. Okay. Not back till Mug's day. So let's go on a quest. We could talk to Griff and do that. Um. Yeah. Actually, can we? Where's Griff? Griff. It does have a personal bond day at the castle. How close are we? Personal bond day for Griff. Oh, are you freaking shitting me right now? That's absurd. <sighs> Fine. Fine. No, you know what? You know what? Going on a quest with him might actually boost our relationship with him, so let's go. For great! We Just must now, baby. Do I have to? Fire. I'm going to take Theo as additional Be damage. There. He's not very good damage, but he's okay. Okay, so we have quests somewhere. Yeah, like this one right here. Two, three, four days, huh? All right. And let's go on in. This is for Winter's Rock, I believe. Venture forth. A deb debacle? All right, I almost forgot to pronounce that word for a minute. Debacle, a dysfunctional, mind-numbing mass of frozen chaos. Try as you might, you struggle to find the right words to describe this kilometer-long environmental non-marvel known as the Gallimalfrey. Whoever named it, however, was assuredly right on point. Less of a physical location, more of a show of geographic excess. The Gallimalfrey stands before you like Mother Nature's personal storage for miscellanies. Ice sheets, trees, and moraines all smashed together in towering barricades of visual cacophony. Everything suggests that Gallimaufry bows to no known laws of physics. Its vulgar, multi, multangular form. I've never seen that word before. Multangular. I like multiangular is what probably was supposed to be. A testament to the capricious realities of Alphamir. Further examination of that icy mistrust reveals two things. One, it forms an extremely dense, consistent, petrified surface, and any conventional means of mining would be impossible. Two, 
True to Winter's words, you can spot a number of rather recent looking cracks and crevices. If the area is truly as seismically unstable as she says, some interesting rocks would be maybe scattered in close proximity, or even in the fresh nodes within the Gallimar Freer itself. Um, let's see. Let's search along the southwestern walls. Decide to trek along the southwestern parts of the Gallimaufry, consistently on lookout for suitable findings. Time passes, and though you do constantly come upon various common rocks, you know, or do you, winter well enough to assume that they wouldn't fit her definition of beautiful, shiny, majestic rocks. Or maybe they would. It's confusing. Don't say. Deeper along the rock face, the landscape rise in elaborate shapes. Tectonic innards burst open and laid bare for everyone to see, chilled into clustered spires of earthly material. Solid arches of crystalline ice sprout from between them in boring angles erected by combined efforts of the elements. Um, so I guess we go down the list here. Metal material on the ground. You push your investigative and aesthetic senses to the limit. Despite your meticulous efforts, all these scattered rocks seem to be the same to your eye. Boring, plain, gray. Probably not the best choice. Alright, what about the protrusions? Earthly pillars of accumulated land garbage appear remarkably solid for what they are. Pile upon pile, you survey nothing but tightly wedged crust of Stygian dirt and ashen stone. Right until an unexpected glimmer catches your eye. What you took for a lump of discolored mud turns out to be a golden yellow gem of unusual shape. Rude but shiny, enticing you with its lustrous presence. Not sure exactly what you're looking at, still, there's a good chance that Winter would like it. Okay. Um... Why do I have a feeling this is attached to a monster? I'm gonna try to grab the gem. Grab the gem with both hands and proceed to pull with all your might, but to no avail. Still, you can feel it's not embedded as tightly as the rest of the stones. Who knows, maybe with another tug. Harder. You apply even more force, your face turning red with sweat, wear, and annoyance. You're about to collapse, you hear the crusty sound of surrender. The pillar releases a stone from its clutches. The gem is yours. Victory! Okay, that was easy enough. I kind of expected a monster to be attached to the stone, but apparently that's just not the way that works. Okay, we had another quest around here. Where, oh, there it is, down here. That's going to be like five days to get to. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four days to get to this one. Or no, yeah, okay, there we go. So this one is the She Soul. We're going to do this one, probably the last one for this episode. I don't remember what this is for. Oh no, this is the um this is the hidden thing. Yeah, this is our greatest secret. This might actually take us a while, so I'm doubting it's gonna be just a text adventure. I could be wrong. I don't know. Could be easy. Okay, fuck it, we'll do it. If they turn out to be a cliffhanger, then on your head be it. Let's go. This is the place? The environment seems to match. And truthfully, so does the interior. <laughs> yeah, my family seems to leave plenty of mess behind. Is this the treasure vault? It certainly looks the part. Approach it carefully, young master. There may yet be traps awaiting. That does look like treasure vault. Be it? The end of our woes? Watch it be a vault tech vault, and it turns out that this is well after the the war in what was it, twenty seventy six? The year is actually 4076. Uh, do you see a way to open it, Griffith? Let us see. Mr. Handy comes out. Says, hi. Hello there. My, what a stereotypical situation. Oh, fuck, it's Mr. Handy. Just what am I supposed to say, huh? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> well, did that come out right, Sir K? He's got some great armor. Whether or not he knows how to use any of that stuff is another thing entirely, but it looks pretty good. Who? What? Do we know each other? Each other? No. But I know you. Uh huh? You trespass upon Lauren property. You shall identify yourself this moment. Yes, yes. Drama. Always stoking the drama. But I hate drama. Tell me, has nobody told you that silence is gold? All these months and you still haven't taught your guard dog not to yap needlessly. Some authority you have. Who is this jerk and can we put him in the ground? Not a foul word more. You are insulting the ruler of this land. To be fair, actually, he was insulting you, but I totally get it, yeah. <laughs> Am I? Is he? Perhaps you were a little bit too bold in calling me a trespasser. 
I am Karen Lorne of Estir, heir apparent to Escalia, inheritor of Rashtil Expanse, and by blood, the last scion of House Lorne. Hmm, is he a pretender or does he actually have a legitimate claim? That's the question. What? What, what kind of nonsense is this? A dramatic surprise, check. Now step aside. A treasure of my ancestors awaits me. What? Just what the hell is your problem? Explain yourself now! No, I owe you no explanation. The world doesn't work like that. You do well to finally learn that little lesson, Lord K. Not a step further! <laughs> You'd raise your hand against your king? Enough with this! I do not know what deception you are trying to weave here, but you are no king of mine. My liege stands right here with me. I serve Kay of House Lauren. <sighs> we just can't avoid this little standoff, can we? All right, have it your way. On with the grand reveals. One, you are way too loud. Two, you are starting to greatly annoy me. Three... Those are not exactly reveals so much as showing how much of a prick you are. Your liege is no more Lauren than you are. And you are, might I remind you, a lowly servant. And so is he. What? I know your precious sisters have been busy messing with the past, digging up scraps left behind by their betters. They did a decent job, but they were misinformed at core. And you know this how, exactly? The heirloom script of House Lauren. Remember that? Riddle me this. How did you obtain it? As I recall, Gwen received it anonymously through a noble from... <sighs> from Estir. That's right. But let's make one thing clear. It wasn't a gift, nor a gesture of sympathy. My family has spent ages in exile, unable to exercise their God-given right, all due to that ridiculous debt. Unable to rule, unable to act, hiding behind the names and borders of foreign kingdoms. The humiliation! Did you think, perhaps, that you would accomplish something? That you would stumble upon some delicious riddle from the past? The treasure story has always been an open secret among members of the house, and a silly one at that. An untouched treasure, in this day and age, a likely tale. Imagine my surprise when I learned that there was Pretender in Rashtil, one all too willing to chase that wild goose and desperate enough to take risks against the furtive Union. And yet, in an even better turn of events, the treasure turned out to exist after all. All it took was to watch from afar, nudge you once or twice and move in at the right moment. Minimum effort, maximum payback. How nice of you to do all the work for me. So, we've done all the work, you're gonna reap all the benefits? I don't think so. Unless you have an army waiting outside, we outnumber you six to one, bud. The debt will be paid. The kingdom will be reclaimed. Glory to House Lauren, at last. But you're not making sense. I am the last Lauren. Sense, sense, sense! Still moaning about this. I told you already. You are but a servant. Can you prove that, though? See? Once upon a time, there were these crusades. The crusades again? Yes, confusing business to say the least. A time when House Lauren was betrayed by his allies. When Lordamar and Shedu, two worthless excuses of nations, raised Escalia to the ground. The outrage! And worst of all, the rabble rose against him too. His own subjects, just like that. Duke Martell of House Lauren was a madman! He had convinced himself that he was an elf and cared little for anything else. He was the king. Right or wrong, his will was to be obeyed. No? No, that's not how that works. The king rules by the will of the people, and if they don't enjoy it, they're going to react. Fortunately for your dumb little head, one man understood that way better than you do. One man put his own fatness and well-being to save his king. Huh? When the armies came calling, the Duke chose to flee in secrecy to his holdings in S-tier. Gods don't bleed after all, do they? Neither do elves, if stories are to be believed. Alas, nobody told his enemies that. They craved his head. And one man, Martel's favorite servant, gave them just that. Believing in his lord and house, he proposed a plan. He took his insignia, his robes, and... See where I'm going with this? <sighs> I can't hear you. They switched places. Correct. You are nothing more than a descendant of a servant. Or the descendant of the rightful king, right? Because 
knowing his king was mad, he decided to quietly stage a coup and no one said boo about it. So really, I don't know, just my, just my spin on it. How does it feel knowing that you've been living a lie? Well, I don't care either way. And truthfully, why would I, commoner? Young master, this is utter nonsense. Why should we believe him? His words are no proof. Hmm, is that so? Does your lord share this opinion? Have you never wondered why everything seems so ill-fitting? Not your time, not your place, perhaps? He ain't looking like the old king. Your smell, it's different than what I remember. You wear a familiar name, Manling. I thought you'd be taller. But the Anam knows not of you. Bulkier. What mask lies upon thee? Uh, black hair, beard. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. I'm not a Lauren, am I? And so the truth finally dawns, with remarkably little drama, too. Just be so kind and don't burst into tears right now, body nonsense. And you, Griffith? How does it feel to be oath-bound to a lie? All your life in vain, serving the son of a dirty commoner. Where's honor in that? <sighs> this changes nothing. Jeez, so stubborn. Now, though, let your king pass. Never! Let him pass, Griffith. Young master! I said, let him pass. Ha! <laughs> About time to wisen up! But... I... <clears throat> yes. Watch it be empty. That'd be hilarious. Ah, finally, my birthright. You know, when I heard that some commoner managed to usurp Escalia, I was furious. An outsider in the halls of Castle Lorin. Unacceptable. But you surprised me. You took it upon yourself to pay off the debt. You cleaned the place up. And somehow, despite being crapped on from every possible direction, you moved onward. A premium pawn, wouldn't you say? You idiot. You see that kind of dedication. You raise them up. You don't kick them while they're down. <sighs> <sighs> oh? We went through this already. I may be a patient man, but... Know your damn place! Do you really think I'd come here unprepared? There is a whole regiment of men from the Lesser Kingdoms outside, just waiting for a dumb move like this! Okay, so we did bring an army. All right. Hardly mercs, the kind that itches to stab a fluffy bunny. So don't. Yes, that's right. Why throw everything away? Treasure these last moments of personal glory. What do you mean? Well, as the true king, it is in my divine right to take what is mine, no? Iskalia awaits. In fact, you may go now. Someone needs to make the preparations. Maybe get a scribe to write down the event. We shall call it Return of the King. No, wait, that's too corny. Go nevertheless. Well, it's already taken, you know. This, I... Sire. Go, I shan't be long. So we're gonna need to see what's inside the vault? Come on, at least we earned that much. But no. Okay, so... That's gonna do it, maybe, for the game? Should we even do this one? Yeah, let's get Gunther's dog back. We'll do that next time. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I'm PC University, or PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.